So you got this project. I'm looking forward to this project. You already came through these two, two official studio albums. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to the next project. Bink, um, the guy you plan on making this album with, he's produced. What are some of his more notable, like tracks that he produced? I know he has that that regal, successful sound. A lot what of they call the Rockefeller sound. Like, yeah, like a Rick Ross kind of. He's done a lot yeah. for Rick Ross. Done a lot for Rick Ross. Jay Z. Yeah. I'm a little uncomfortable discussing him from as far as his track record from the he did lights, camera action, Lost Boys. Mm. I mean uh Mr. Mr. Cheese. Cheese. Yeah. Um Classic shit. He did Don't Leave Me Now by uh Black Street. Mm. Don't leave me. Damn. Yeah. Um so like I say, he got a he got an extensive track record and I don't necessarily feel like you know, uh, I, I could do him any justice by by speaking on. I'll just say that that you know, it's an honor and a privilege for sure, um, just to even receive tracks like from him. The same as it is when you know I'm getting shit from Lee. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just very fortunate. I'm very fortunate to be receiving. Um, you know, because if you uh, a kind of person like me, that I feed off that shit. So I just be like, damn, you know. Or, like, bro, it just it's just amazing who might call my phone type shit, you know? <laughs> so do you feel like this sound, working with him, will bring something out of you as an artist that we never heard before? Anytime you're working with a new producer, for me, it's always something new um, that comes out of you when you do it. But um, I definitely look forward to it from the standpoint of, like, I'm just ready for people to see like what this shit really is. is. What it is I am really capable of doing. Sky's the limit. Yeah. I recently interviewed uh, Glasses Malone. Uh, Glasses. Glasses Malone, LA mm -hmm. artist. And in his interview, I found that he was like a super advocate for producers, probably the biggest I've ever heard. Yeah. In his interview, he also said, that hip hop is not in a good place right now because the producers don't have as much control. Get back to giving producers deals and make producers sign rappers. Yeah. That's the first thing. Make good music. You gotta get back to making better music. Records <laughs> gotta get better, right? That shit's whack. Yeah, you think the music level is going down? I mean, the shit. low vibration level? I ain't gonna get that far. I just think it's by underdeveloped producers. Yeah. They still babies in the thing. You know what I mean? So it's just work, but I think Music is hip hop is in a bad space as far as musically because it's not being led by the producers anymore. It's being led by rappers, and these niggas don't know shit about nothing. Rappers and business people. Yeah, yeah. niggas is marketing and a bunch of niggas marketing. Niggas is marketing and white people that's marketing, but not one having a real care about the actual sound of what's going on. So I would get back to giving deals to people like Molly Marr and all these people that make records and you know, producers, you know what I mean? The new dudes. Too. I do agree that you should build, if you have a record label, if you want to do it like that, that you should build it around the sound. Uh, so, I don't know if it should be one producer or if it should be a collective, but I do think you need to lock your producers in um, to establish your sound and, and then bring it from around there. But I disagree on the uh, music. Hip-hop is in a bad space. I think it's in the best space it's ever been in. Okay. Yeah, so I disagree with one, but I agree with the other part. Okay. When you think about a city and, like, uh, it's this, a sound. Like, certain cities have a marquee sound. Like, okay, this city sound like this. This city sound like that. Mm -hmm. Who do you think is more responsible for that, the rapper or the producer? First, let's get this understood. Rap, being a rapper is a is a all of these are gifts right but a rapper is the vehicle by which the producer is seeing her it's the lens through which the people are going to experience the producer you know so the rapper is the most important part they speak in the lingo they wearing the clothes they showing the the style that bringing your shit to life. Yeah, what you about can sit in the in the lab and create some incredible shit. Yeah, right. 
And you can have a talented, skilled MC that's a great rapper. You can have a, a performative type rapper who maybe is not as technically skilled, but they still have the gift of, of, of being a rapper. And they can come out there and bring that shit to a life. That rapper, man, I know people want to minimize him because there's so many people that claim to be that. That rapper is what this shit is about. Because we can turn all this shit off. The master of the ceremony. Yes, the master of the ceremonies is the most important part. As evidenced by great rappers using multiple producers and still being you know, the, what they are. Uh, producers are searching for the great rappers, you know, uh, to bring that, take that shit to the next level. You can be a great producer with a horrible rapper and it may not go anywhere. It's probably not going to go anywhere. But great, great talent from a rap standpoint, by talent I mean like the gift of, of being a rapper. You know, the actual gift. First of all, you got to know what the gift is about. I'm talking about the nigga that was the, the, the class clown in school. The ones who, I'm talking about being a rapper. Like, the, who's charismatic before he ever starts rhyming. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, people like him already. You know, the, the, the guy, that, that motherfucker. You know what I mean? That, that the beat come on and they already like, you know, like a rapper. Like, the gift of being a rapper. That shit, that that that's not <laughs> that don't that shit don't grow on trees. Like that ain't like no, that's that's some shit, you know. That's, I think that's one of the things that make hip hop so unique is it's that charisma that comes with being a rapper. Yeah, like Fat Pat don't gotta be rapping to captivate you. <laughs> Correct. You gonna be captivated off top. Kiki don't gotta rap to goddamn get you thinking like, damn, I'll be hanging on his every word and none of that shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, uh, shit, Gucci man. You know, you you ever hear this nigga like just you'll be watching him. This nigga's following Gucci Man just on the strength of him. Yeah. Before it ever was some rap shit, you know what I'm saying? So when we talk about these kind of things, like starting with that, then you know, the person, the one that's why, in my opinion, when you have um individuals that there has been producers in this game that have, you know, they've been making a sound and maybe they sound wasn't what Nas wanted to hear, right? Maybe it wasn't what Tupac wanted to hear, you know, or whatever, right? That wasn't they shit. But you had the guy, the guy that was the guy where you from, right? Mm -hmm. His name might have been Juvenile. Mm -hmm. His name might have been uh uh Boosie. His name might have been Webby. You know what I mean? Like uh uh and these people bring that sound, you know, because they the vehicle. So in the equation, I have to disagree with the homie glasses on the on that equation side because that that dope rapper keeps making them songs, man. Keep Keep my, now there are great. That doesn't minimize that there are great producers, or it don't mean that it ain't no such thing as no great. It, it's great producers. The niggas that are the epitome of when your when your talent and your skill is at its highest level, they are the the ones that provide the soundscape for the illest and the best. That's that's where you're talking about the Binks, Pharrells, the Dr. Dre's, the you know what I mean? Uh, uh, I would even put Lee in that. You know what I mean? Lee is a nigga that nigga when your shit is Manny a, Fresh, all kind of people. Manny Fresh, Manny Fresh, yeah, the ones that's the the guys. Uh, uh, you know, uh, damn, uh, uh, Premier. Mm -hmm. You know, no ID. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? So, so yes, the, that there are definitely great producers, but I believe that that. It's, you can't have one without the other, but I think that... Uh, the that scale MC. leans a little more to the rapper side, kind of what you're saying. And rappers be dying to prove that, too. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Dying to prove that shit. That's true.